Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We've arrived to the restricted zone where all these thugs are around the bookstore. Need to take out the thugs or at least get past them or something. Deal with them in some way. And get to the owner of this place inside the building. Because they're the one who's going to be able to fix our augments going all haywire. Guess I should start by marking all of them, huh? Oh. Oh, marking's not a thing I can do with my augments all messed up, is it? Nope. I, I'm really curious why that person's shooting, by the way. What are they shooting at? Are they just, like, shooting up the bookstore? Just to cause damage? Uh, so, yeah, actually, what augments are available to me? I guess all of them are still available? This one's unassigned, though. Okay, well, I reassigned it, so I guess I can use it. Alright, got those to lean on at least. And I can still use my supervision. Oh, <laughs> I think they're grilling meat on there. Yeah, they're grilling. Nice. There's like a security drone over there. Is that... Uh, well, it's not a restricted zone. So I don't know if it would be worried if I went there. But anyway, there's there's no reason to go there right now. Excellent. So there's three of them outside. Okay. I do have quite a few tranks. I could just use them. I think I'm just going to use them. So I believe how tranks work, if I remember right, is if you shoot them in the head, I think they instantly go down. If you shoot them in the body, I think they take maybe like up to five seconds to go down. I don't think they necessarily raise any alarm if it takes a little bit longer, but I would prefer to hit them in the head just to be sure. Ooh, wait, if I take out this person here, that person that I just saw inside might see them. Because that door is open. Hmm. Alright. There we go. Just want to watch him go down. <laughs> Took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Yeah, there we go. That's more what I was expecting. Oh, shit. Okay, I, th I think we're good. Yeah, just attracted a little bit of attention. We're good. Alright, got the free run of the place now. Wait a second, when I fell down, I saw like a little yellow marker, like somebody was seeing me. Who could that have been? Huh, I don't know. It's like curiosity. Oh, I can just open that. Well, let's not do that. Can I steal their meats? Is that... Oh my god, they're frying a rat. Ew. I mean, you do what you gotta do, but... Ew. That's weird. Why is this, uh... It's yellow. Oh, it's the window from the inside that I can open, not this, like, outside thing. That's why. I 
Zentrum Wien geht nach hier. Schütt, das ist auch nicht so recht an uns an. Looks pretty dark inside. Button. Almost got seen. That was very close. I think a distract. I think a distraction might be in order here. What? God. He has nowhere else to go. He is. <laughs> What's the main What's that? Oh no! 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 Oh! Oh God! I didn't have enough power. Oh no! They're gonna shoot. They're gonna shoot. I'm not gonna get my power back in time. Check out that cannon! <laughs> At least I die, that's a mercy. Oof. Okay, try number two. Hey, good timing. Okay, gotta make sure I wait for my power to come back. Shut up! Find him! Problem is, I don't know where the other person is exactly. I guess I can use the minimap. Making progress. I'm pretty sure if you pick up multiple of a single weapon, it just gives you ammo. It doesn't give you copies of the weapon. Yeah, looks like it. Red grenade. Well, probably not gonna be using that. Ah, friggin' energy. I don't talk about how they're trying to find that person. I guess they're shooting up the place trying to get them to come out of hiding. So they must be hidden pretty well in here somewhere. The Evil Within 2 had these little figurines that looked almost exactly like this that you could break to find keys to open up lockboxes, get kind of random rewards. So I feel, I feel such an urge to like shoot this thing. But I'm sure there's nothing in it. What are you?
You know, let's try, the, let's try distraction. I haven't been using those enough. Harder than I thought to find something to throw. Uh, I guess I'll just read a newspaper instead. Oh, we already read this, didn't we? Police blunders, yep. Yep, we read that. I guess I won't throw anything. for something to throw again. Spin the globe. That's not going to help. Pretty cool, though. Is there literally, like, just nothing to pick up at all? I can't even, I can't even pick up that. I just I broke that. A biocell. Nice. You can even turn on the vacuums. That's beautiful. Here we go, finally! corner. Was the main office empty? What was that? Whoa. Well, why are you going that way? Come here. You see anything? Adam, are you sure that was non-lethal? Okay. Are we good? I think so, at least for this main area. You still can't even go out there, can you? No. You can open the window, but not the... the wooden blinds, I guess. Let's look for looting stuff. I wonder if spinning these might be like a puzzle. Like, spin them in the right order, and you open up the secret compartment. Security rating 1. Should be easy. Wait, there's two green ones. Do I need both, or do I just need one? Hmm. This one looks a little bit tricky, actually. I'm gonna assume I need one. Or, I mean, both. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Uh -oh. Access denied. Mm. Well, so much for that.
Uh, I feel like with the hacking minigame, sometimes there's just so much going on, it's hard to tell what's actually happening. Like, I didn't look at the time until I had like two seconds left. Probably where the vent leads to that I saw. See a newspaper? I guess that was a back entrance. Alright, shall I do a better job with this one? So I have one data scan and one reveal. I don't know what that does, but this is going to tell us. Reveal software uncovers all hidden nodes in a network. Fog. Use it when entering a network that is fogged over. Well, I haven't seen that yet. Activation. One software is used per activation. I don't know what that means. Oh no, that's just talking about how to activate it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh wait, this one is fogged over, isn't it? There we go. All right. So what? Is, I mean, let's just do data scan because I don't know what that does. Okay, I don't know what that did. <laughs> Use that up. And stuff like spam, like, does this give you a bonus if you get it or something? I don't know. Anyway, this one looks pretty easy. Oh yeah, this one, so this one says 60 XP, so you do get a bonus for that. I don't know about the spam, though. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. Whoa. That's all the time. Oh. I think I'm starting to understand more about how this minigame works. It's because it could basically access me right away. Because I didn't capture this. I should have captured this and fortified it, huh? Or maybe even gotten the spam? Maybe the spam, like, hurt me or something? Okay. So, do they, like, go out of lockdown after a while? I hope so. Like, how's the other computer doing? Oh my god, it's a cat calendar. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a timer, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so I looked up the little tutorial on the game, and yeah, I think I basically do understand how hacking works, actually. I think I just need to be faster and a little bit more strategic, and I guess I also sort of need to get a bit lucky. Because after all, there's the capture detection chance, 45% on these. So, if you don't get captured, you know, buy yourself a bit more time. But uh, yeah, so the red one does need to reach me. And it looks like you can actually fortify yourself, so I've done that. This is now a level 2, so that should help a bit. So I think I'm going to go this way and just go this way, capture the green one, go here, and then capture this green one. So I think all I'm going to do is probably just go this way, keep going this way, and if I get detected, I will take this one real fast and fortify it just to slow them down a little bit more. So let's go. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Mm, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I got to 72%, I was so close. Uh, I did learn something useful there, though. It looks like you can't fortify a place that the, the trace has already gotten to. Alright, <laughs> let's try again. This is really hard. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some of my early points when I can finally upgrade into hacking to make this easier. 
So yeah, I can fortify myself. Anomaly detected. Trace pro access granted. There we go. Much better. From Vintage Book Finders. Mr. Buranek, I regret to inform you that the shipment of rare printed books that you and I worked so hard on acquiring for the time machine was indeed traveling to Prague on train F451 from Austria yesterday. This train was due to arrive in the early morning hours. Chances are it was already parked in Brzezica Station, waiting to be unloaded when the terrorists' bombs went off. I've attempted to contact the Czech Republic's transport authorities to learn more, but until Brzezica's fire chief gets back to me, it's best to assume all of the books have been lost. Regretfully yours. From Ratman. Camille, I checked on that package for you. The stuff from China your boss had you order for him? Came in last week, but Mr. B's been sitting on it. Said your boss needs to drop by the casino and pick it up himself. Don't know what's going on, bro. But you might want to call in sick tomorrow. What if that's related to the thugs? Cam, look man, I don't care what it costs. You need to hook me up with Caller. I know he's eccentric, I know he's no limb clinic, and I know he deals on both sides of the law, but fuck. Right now we Augs are on the wrong side of the law. My enhancements are degrading, man. I know it. Think you can fit me in? I don't care about crossing checkpoints or whatever, I just have to see someone. The guy at the makeshift clinic here is useless. Wow. Yeah, so I guess all the companies going down and so much pressure against Augs that people, I guess myself included, given what, what's what been happening with my Augs acting up, are having r huge trouble just getting basic maintenance care. Okay, I think I got it this time. Yes, yes. That's granted. This is the other computer, of course. Hey, Lucina. Some guy dropped off some more boxes of old, moldy books. It smells like they were stored in a basement for the last 40 years. You want them anywhere special? Hello, Time Machine. Just had to let you know that I think you may have the most eclectic collection of books that I've ever seen. I just loved your shop. A real out-of-the-way gem. I didn't think there were that many printed copies of The Hedonist Monk still in existence. However, I failed to find any copies of the brilliant follow-up, The Hedonist Monk Goes to Private School. Would it be possible to contact me if a copy ever comes in? I could pick it up the next time I'm in Prague. Thank you, Miss Horl, for showing me around. I wish I could have met the owner. Lucina, please, please think about what I said this morning. I know you like the quiet there. It lets you think and work on your own story ideas. But you are such a smart, talented girl. You can do so much better than working for an Og. Nobody buys books anymore. What will happen to you if his permit gets taken away and they send him to Golem City? I only want the best for you, my daughter. And I don't think this is it. Hmm. I was thinking the computers might give me some hint on where the secret room or whatever is. Apparently not. You know, I should probably enable the quest marker for this quest, huh? Of course, I don't know if there actually is, like, a specific quest marker for it. That'd probably be a little bit too spoilery. Uh, I think I may have found something. Up here on the top floor, if you go around here, there is a door which leads to what may be an office. Ooh, look at the map. Is that an elevator? That symbol? Yeah. Hidden basement, maybe. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. It's red. So that's the <laughs> that's the key to getting down there is a red book. Uh, I see about a dozen in front of me. Global Politics Review Chapter 7 Crouching Tiger 
As the single largest nation state on Earth with the biggest population of augmented humans, the mayhem wrought by the Og incident had the potential to virtually cripple the People's Republic overnight. But more than any other nation in the world, China was ready for an event on the scale of the Og rampage and to move swiftly to contain and eradicate the rioters with lethal intent. While there was substantial loss of life and damage to infrastructure, the PRC, People's Republic of China, have been quick to rebuild and regain the momentum they lost. Civilian unrest and demands for explanations have been silenced, and state-controlled media ensures that the blame for the events of 2027 remain firmly on the shoulders of the West. Ooh, got another Praxis. View augmentations. Well, <laughs> can't upgrade anything when everything's broken right now. Ooh. Where the heck does that go? <laughs> I can see the marks of the hidden bookshelf. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Okay, well, before we go there, what is in here? Exiting restricted zone. Uh, let me say first, just in case I like can't come back up. Oh, this is the old ventilation system that I, I didn't really go through before. But the one that linked from like the bathroom to some other place. I guess it's just like a quick exit. Ooh. Hog limbs. Workshop. Yeah, this looks like a serial killer's den. I mean, there's literally just like dozens of limbs hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I mean, they're all limbs, but still. Where does that go? You got so many hidden entrances. Huh? Check it out right now. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Whoops. Have to wait till our augs are back. Jensen! My favorite techno wonder kind! Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem for now. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I... I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down, the day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know, I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sad fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkovelli is the Diwali number two guy. 
The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? I can't help but worry about it a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, you've convinced me. Alright. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... It's gonna be fine. You... You won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless. Far away. Like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I'd like to point out there's a puddle of blood right next to this chair. What? Oh, thank God. Uh, take it easy. I swear I didn't mean to. Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? Where, where did you? I was. I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh, just ease up. Okay, no freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Core? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these, these, uh, I, I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. Okay, I think I'm going to go with remote hacking. Hack electronics, uh, electronic devices from a distance. It also says... This augmentation is experimental. Unlocking it's will okay, add to the Jensen. overclock. One isn't gonna kill you. <laughs> You've said that before. I've heard that like ten times while I've been looking at these different things, by the way. Uh, yes, the energy consumption low. It's gonna take actually both of my praxises, or praxi. And yeah, apparently there's some sort of an overclock that these experimental things add to. Probably some sort of a negative effect, maybe? See that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just got to make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Okay, let's try turning off the nano blade. That's an experimental one, but it's one that's totally for lethal means, so Go ahead, not Jensen. something I'm going to find useful. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. 
You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my Augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new Augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you'll need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Why would Sarif have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here. Take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Don't know if I want to be a walking god, but, uh, I mean, it certainly can't hurt to not have to give up something. Next quest, confront Seraph in my apartment about the Augs. Yeah. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to spend my Praxis points. And now, of course, we have fully functioning Augs, so I can do more than I could before. And head back to our apartment. <laughs>